is David with technewzone.com in Las Vegas. And we recently got this cool waterproof box from Thingiverse. It's by Waterproof Box by Monty, licensed under Creative Commons, giving credit where credit is due. Here's the Thingiverse thingy right here, uh, 1317118. Um, but it, we printed it out. It's really awesome. We did it on the, the uh, Dremel using... Um, um, it's filamentum, like a metallic black filament. But this is cool box. It printed in place. We had a raft, but took off the raft, and it closes. But it prints in place like that. It looks like you might, might have bought this. It's so nice. But this wonderful individual from Thingiverse, who's really good at this stuff, designing, made this. It's a little. Ours is a little loose on the on the little uh, door thing. But he says you can glue rubber bands down and make it waterproof. But it printed in place, came off the raft, and it came out wonderfully. We printed ours in, oops, I think we printed in point 0.2 medium on the, we use Simplify 3D, because now that, another wonderful thing, Dremel 3D40 and 3D20, as far as I know, can now be used on Simplify 3D. And they came out with their own new software. They were using AutoCAD uh, software, but they have this new, um, down there, uh, that one, the P. The auto, auto desktop software, but now they have um, their own software, which is a derivative of Cura, and they're able to be used on Simplify 3D as well. So that's a big step forward. And there's like a printout thing I saw, um, which we use today, which allows it to be used with um, third party filament, which we've always been able to use it with third party PLA. I haven't had any problem with um, Filamentum or Polymaker PLA on. Our Dremel 3D40 either. So you're better off using their filament, but this is um, filamentum, a met metallic black with like sparkles in it, as my daughter and my wife said. Yeah, it does have sparkles in it. But it made a nice box. This looks like a box you might have gotten, like we're going to Interdrome this week, like a box you could have gotten at Interdrome, but um, for a, a, if you put a little of that foam stuff in there. So I wonder, I'm going to try to print it bigger, another one, um, maybe in another color, but Maybe I can fill the whole build plate with it, make a big case, or make little teeny ones for like rings and things like that. But this is Dave with TechNewsZone.com showing off Monty M O N T I E Y's waterproof box from Thingiverse. Um, you can see the little um right there, Thingiverse.com thing one three one seven one one eight. Well, very very impressed, Mr. Monty or Miss Monty, I do not know, but it's a waterproof box printed in filamentum on a Dremel three D forty and Simplify three D using um medium settings and it came out beautifully printed in place we had a raft uh, no supports but it came out really 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 well I mean sometimes you do stuff on some printers and you have to like pry it to make it start being able to move this just came off the raft and worked perfectly the only thing on ours when we printed it I don't know why it's a little loose on the uh, here so it might not stay shut but I guess you put it in the upward position and swing it down like you're supposed to. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little loose. I'm not sure why. But that's it's, it's awesome. But thanks to Moni from Thinkiverse. Uh, thanks to Dremel for getting us the printer a bit ago. And then uh, thanks for the sample from Filamentum of this awesome filament. It's like a black sparkly filament. A PLA. And it's solid. It's nice. Next thing I do is print a giant one of these, and maybe a mini one of these, or micro, as everybody says. So, Dave with TechNewsZone.com. Check us out. Subscribe to our channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash TechNewsZone. We're at iTechNewsZone on Twitter, but we appreciate it. Thanks, and have a good night.